Hey, yo folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld, our Nextology run. Now, don't be disturbed if the uh, the date has skipped ahead a few days. I've decided, because this is going to be such a long series, that I would allow myself to maybe advance the gameplay a little bit in between episodes. Not very much, and mostly, we're almost going to consider doing maybe some edits. Like, maybe I'll record for, like, an extended period of time, but not always be commenting. You know, assuming I can get myself to shut up. Um, and just have the videos go a little bit faster. And that way I can record more during the day, progress more during the day without being voice limited too much. So that's what I've done. Nothing has exciting has happened other than the Fawns over here has got both their prosthetics. We did uh, botch once on the prosthetic leg and somehow slice into their torso. Again, we don't have a very good medic currently until Immolator gets over their paralytic abasia over here, in which case we're going to have an excellent doctor at that point. So things are going to change pretty dramatically. Ooh, Gom just changed their equipment. That's cool to see. Um, and then I've gone ahead and designated an area that will be our high-tech research area over here. We've got enough room for the multi-analyzer. We're not running on 1.5, so we don't have bookshelves to add in. Uh, we don't have a lot of silver. I'd like to... I'll, what I'll probably do is go ahead and designate the sterile tiles over here. But we don't even need that much silver, but we'll need some. And we'll throw some concrete under the doors and then build a little buffer here again, just for a little bit of dirt management. I'm tempted to just concrete over this entire little courtyard, but we might just put some other buildings in this area. Um, maybe I should just plan out a wall now and we'll have the space available for something. And then also people won't walk through this, right? As a shortcut. If I just do this, I won't bother with any kind of back wall. I'll put some door in here. But yeah, I won't. I won't actually put any effort into any of this, but we'll get it. We'll get it ready for something. We could turn this into a barracks for extra people and not actually bother with a bunch of extra custom bedrooms. That's a possibility. But we'll just get it started. I guess I'll also want a little piece of concrete under the door too. Because again, the doors don't count as part of the room. These double doors here are just for show, just for symmetry, which this, the fact that this isn't symmetrical is bugging me a little, but it's fine. I'll deal with it, but I wanted something a little bit nicer for this. Oh, I guess we should probably get a light in here. Of course, no wall lights yet. Um, Yeah, I'll put it right here. We'll get some nice comfy chairs in there. I might move this armchair there later. Allison, how old are you? I think it's until they're three. I don't know if it's listed somewhere on this chart somewhere. I could open the wiki, but I think it's three. And they are doing quadruple aging rates over here, so... So I guess three quarters of a year, which would be 45 days total since birth to become the go from the baby stage to the child stage. I think that sounds about right. Hey, Hope, could you prioritize this lamp? Oh, actually, change of plans. Immolator's not asleep. Let's do a convert action on them. Let's say I think her. It is her. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you're upset. Deal with it. And then, oh, you're teaching a lesson. That is pretty important. Oh, we don't have any power over here. Now let's route it that way. And then we can plan to run some power across here and things. That's all going to be good. Hope you're still teaching a lesson. You are. Social skill for Odette, which is pretty nice. I, her social skill is going to be nuts. I mean, it makes sense with the high mate because their genetics are way biased that way. But it's still going to impress. There we go. We got power in that room. How's our power grid doing? Not a ton of excess right now. We don't have a river on this map, right? No. Okay. That's fine. Um, I can't move you. That's a shame because now I'm like, I kind of wish I had a walking path there. I don't know if I had ever planned to have this be my power block long term, but you know how things go. I'm wondering about just maybe a second solar panel then. Or more batteries. I mean, obviously at night, they're not running right now. We have the deficit because of no wind. Unless I just put another wind generator because very rarely do these produce zero power. Although as to say that, it just got pretty darn close. Maybe it is another wind generator. I don't know. Or just a huge battery array. So I don't like how dirty things have gotten, but... Oh, uh, I guess I was doing a bit of a hall cleanup, but I think I can bring that down now. I guess I'll unforbid these research. Do I actually have... I don't know who they're going to be, but it would be great to have two full-time researchers. Hello, compact and machinery meteorite. So often these meteorites aren't useful. I got really lucky on that one. I don't know. That might be the best. Just more components. Don't mind if I do. 
We don't have any strong miner, which is still something that would be very desirable to go and mine out more of the resources and get better yields. Because we're definitely losing some of our yield, I'm sure. <clears throat> okay, let's consider a giant revamp of our priorities. And let's see if we can get maybe people to hyper-specialize some more. Be good for their skill growth. It might mean things happen a little bit more frequently, although I kind of don't really expect that. We'll keep the hole and cleans at a four. Um, research, we could keep that as a busy work. Although, you know what? I don't know if that's going to happen. Now, let's if we work backwards from research, Immolator, we know actually, is probably going to be a full-time researcher. Do we make Maddie? Yes. She doesn't have passion in anything else except art. Maddie is a full-time researcher, and I think we can just go ahead and accept that. Now, Fawns does have some passion, and currently a skill of 11, which is pretty good, and not a heck of a lot going on right now. So I think for now, we can do this. There's a chance Fawns gets demoted back to something else. Or maybe we don't make Emulator a full-time researcher, and she just adds into the, the cook over here with the Tick of Passion. Or we have three, but I think we're only going to have two high-tech research benches. Beyond that, it starts to get a little bit expensive and maybe ridiculous. Now, Wycone obviously is the best handler. If we're not doing taming, I actually don't mind having everyone set to a one handling just so they can go and grab the animals back pretty quick, but we'll see. Javi uh, will set the cook. And usually what I do for the people who have like the double passion for something for their primary task, I set it to a two. I do make an exception for things like the handling and wardening because it's a high, such a high priority job and such a short job. Like just do it right away and then you're done with it. Um, so cooking, we're not gonna worry about the hunt assignment right now. Hope is currently the best. Now Smogger on the other hand is a maker. Let's consider what happens if Smogger does this and Spears also a maker for the crafting, which makes sense. And the crafting is mostly rock making. So actually other than uh, Spear getting a passion boost from doing it, it doesn't matter who does the craft because cutting rocks in vanilla doesn't give you XP, doesn't use your XP. It's not modified by speed or anything like that. I Unless something has changed then somewhere along the way that I didn't keep track of. But in practice, I think there's a lot of mods that add stone cutting stuff back in and whatever. And there are all other miscellaneous crafts. But other than I think if medicine making is technically a craft job, I'm not sure. It might be a craft job, but of course relies on your intellectual skills. So that might be a little different when we get there. I'm not going to worry about art. In terms of growing, well, math is really has nothing to do other than growing as a priority. And we might want another grower. Well, let's see, Gomp. Gomp has nothing going on. Wycone has double passion for it. But Gomp well, it could also be a researcher, but I think we're good now. And we can probably benefit from a second constructor. I think what'll probably happen with Wycone and we'll do this. And maybe we do the same thing with Hope. If Hope isn't having to construct, which is the priority, she can go ahead and help with the plant cutting. We have no one assigned to mining right now. I guess what I'll do is I'll set mining to a three on, I guess not, not the people who literally have it in red, but otherwise we'll set it here, but we're not currently designating mining. And in practice, maybe what we actually do is we set the mining, maybe even to a one, because like when we designate it, we kind of need it right now. I'm trying not to pre-mine things. We've got minerals, we've got components. I don't think I have anything assigned to mine on the map. So we'll do this because we can use it as a one-time job. Does anyone not really have a day-to-day -day thing. Okay, I think we're good. It's a little bit more focused than before. We have two dedicated growers, two other people who will grow if there's nothing to construct. And then Odette's got nothing really going on right now. Okay. I mean, for all I know, this was very similar to what we had going on before, but it feels like it might be a little bit more. Optimal. The big thing is having two dedicated researchers, which we definitely, I don't think had that set up before. You're waiting for components, which we have 17, which means we're going to be short three components. I guess I'll probably just mine these here. L. We'll designate a couple to do there, and it is a top priority job, so it'll happen very quickly. <clears throat> and I'm okay with that. Oh, breastfeeding, then she's going to feed herself. Harvest popular tree. Why are you doing that instead of constructing? Because why Cone has reserved both of those. Okay, that's fine. 
I mean, we've got, we probably have enough wood for now anyway, but it's not the end of the world. I did this neat. Okay, quite a few trees to be cut, actually. Unless it happened. No, I think some of these were manually set. I was going to say, unless it happened when the uh, pen got busted open and it set up some auto cut. I don't think it did. I think I didn't even turn off the auto cut now. I did. Okay. Not that it hurts too badly one way or another. But there we go. Actually, Gomp, could you do me a favor? Come over here. Okay, they have to use the door, but then he says, so this is, I don't think this is the exact layout I was using before. I think this door was here. We extended it there. I just don't know how I stop people from standing on, on this tile and using it for cover, but maybe it's such an angle that it was never an issue anyway, but I could sort of see someone standing here and trying to snipe someone over here. Although it's only one, it's not the end of the world. Smogger's actually idle. Oh, it's because you don't haul or clean. Well, then, you know what? You could do smithing, tailoring. So I can leave it on a four here. Because you could develop those skills. You're not skilled now, but you could do it for the busy work. As I say, make the kid parkas. That's okay. We have no author mods turned on. In fact, maybe I should go and make it a higher priority. Having you, I've, you've got the maker thing going on. Um, we may have to for our smithing jobs over here. I might want to make sure. Yeah, skill ten. Five, five, five for the helmet. I mean, small. Yeah, so Smogger wouldn't even go and make those helmets right now. Five's not particularly high, but you know we kind of want those to get done. I don't think we're going to be that picky. And he still has the plus one quality thing going on. And yeah, for now, he can train himself up in the kid parkas, which he just made a poor one. It's an example of his lack of skills. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Especially she's, he gets to double dip, or sorry, she gets to double dip on um, both parts of the maker for the construction side and not. Okay, that's done. I will go and build a copy of one of these chairs. I might just end up moving this one after rather than building a second one. It's too bad Smogger can't or clean because that would be a good filler job when there's nothing to construct but i'm actually happy to train him up over here well that it would be great if you maybe i don't know maybe i should get you know what i am going to do that i'm going to make odette focus more on cleaning than hauling because hauling might even be dangerous for the kid although odette all of a sudden has a go frenzy so having her move more is pretty good but yeah let's have her focus on some some cleaning there's no floor in this room we should do that it doesn't have to be a pretty floor I'll just go concrete. I go paved, which isn't as ugly, but no, I'm just going to go concrete. And yeah, we don't have to do it underneath these. Okay, then that train's already concrete. Good, good, good. I noticed this door wasn't, and actually, same thing. We want a little concrete buffer right over there. And you know, I think we're going to do this too. Hey. Okay. Well, as I say that, this isn't actually concrete, is it? Do it. Granite meteorite. Okay, so that one's not terribly helpful, but you know what, Randy? It's a lot better than a raid, so thank you for that. I just realized I had these jobs suspended from when we were trying to save components. We still don't have components, but I can go and unsuspend it. We don't have a priority for where the components will go. I might not mine any more components right now, which actually makes me think if I would be in a situation where I need components and was mining it, I'd probably do that. But I noticed we have some unfinished flak pants over here. Actually, I don't. And a flak vest. Maybe I'll still suspend the heavy SMG, but I'll leave those on so they can be finished. I guess I could switch it to do one time and it would just finish this one. There you go. And then not actually queue up another one, which might be okay. Because we would need components for it. Uh, Immolator is in a cranky mood, but I mean, that makes sense. She's going to be pretty miserable over here. Nutrient paste, all these things. Ugly environment. Well, hopefully that can be cleaned. And yeah, if we can try to convert you, you'll be happier. Okay, the herbal medicine is coming in. I'm going to stop us from cutting it. So I'm going to select all on the map and then cancel the harvesting jobs on that. Fill complete, make flak pants. And it keeps it in the queue, but sits it as a zero, which is nice. Both of them are excellent. That's nice to see. And yeah, if people want to go and grab that and armor themselves up, that's be fine. So we are getting our Devil Strand dusters, huh? Yeah, on mass, that's great. Still always a little bit leery about growing Devil Strand when it's not in a hothouse, but this is working out very well. Spear has nothing. So yeah, it's going to be the same problem. If you've got nothing to craft, 
you don't really have a secondary task. I mean, I could put like a level four construct on there so you can help with flooring or something. But maybe it's okay. And maybe it's just a reminder of, huh, what else could I do? What could I change? We could order up, um, that's not block making. Where's the stone cutter over here? We could add more stone to be cut, but I don't think that's useful. I mean, one of the ways to keep the crafters busy, though, is I could just order up more things to be done with blocks. Like, for example, maybe we want to, re want to replace here. Actually, I guess we might want to just work on completing this kill box, don't we? Yeah, let's let's haul this stuff away. It doesn't have to be urgent, but that's okay. And then for the kill box, I want to set up an area. I think I was doing it about 12 tiles away from like where we might shoot. Let's say from here. Because that was kind of a sweet spot range for the heavy SMG, was it not? Let's go and take a look. Yeah, see, up to 12 cells, it's relatively accurate, and then you get a huge fall off. Most of them will run forward. This is 12 here, you know. So, yeah, most of people will be getting shot in the sweet spot of all this. Then what we want is we want some hard walls. So granite, please. Some amount over here. I haven't actually calculated these angles. I guess that would be this thing is what's the distance from here to there. Maybe we'll just stop at that point. And then we want under security, we're gonna want some barricades. And again, we're gonna want those nice and tough. We'll do this. I don't remember if these are the superior angles for things, but is that where I want them? I guess maybe. Cancel those and those. And then we're gonna build a wall somehow over here for our turrets. But for now, we just want something for our people to stand behind. We'll put some traps in front of them as well. And I'd like to make those out of steel, right? Oh, the fawns, I never re-equipped with your weapon. Um, those are pretty crummy weapons. Ooh, guarding for Moses. A yeoman of the empire has been caught in bed with the wrong person. She imprisoned the inappropriate lover in a show of rejection. Now she wants to keep the prisoner caged until the scandal blows over in 1.4 days. That's pretty short. We are gonna be attacked. Okay, these are going to be tribals with mostly archers and stuff. And we get two troops. We could get good marine armor. Bonic Eye. We need a sub-persona sub core at some point. And I love these power cells. But I think I might just go for the marine armor. Okay. How long do we have? Six days? Pfft, great. Going to give it time to set up some defenses. I mean, we still won't have god-tier guns. But, I mean, I could make it. I could unsuspend the, the uh, SMG job. Um, and then I could carve out a bunch of components. Still don't like the lack of a hunter. But maybe just setting up this area is going to be fine. We harvest fully grown in this area to start off with. We might cut a few more things too. I guess, yeah, we really don't need the stumps because they can't be used for cover. So don't worry about that. But yeah, the construction should be going on. Hopefully a little bit of crafting happening. Spears idle. You shouldn't be idle. You should be working on block making. If I tell you to reset yourself. Spear. Did I not turn on crafting for you? It's there. Oh, someone else came by and did it. Hmm. Well, Javi also doesn't have anything going on. Um, I mean, maybe it's just time to get two of these. Sure. Also, I still don't have... Let me just bring it here for now, or... No, let's build it over here. Let's take this, reinstall that over there. And I was going to say, yeah, we still don't have a tool cabinet. So I'm going to build it here. It's still going to reach everything. Good. Oh, let's say, no, prioritize moving this, please. Thank you. And what I'll do is I will, I will set up another shelf. This one here, clear all. Uh, important for blocks. There you go. We can just put the blocks on there afterwards. So actually we can give it a command to bring it to storage. Which I suppose now we'll be bringing it to storage and not these. You're playing horseshoes. Hey, but Hope, come over here. Build this real quick for me, please. Thanks. Okay. Now the storage will be right next door. All right. Build the granite walls. These are still very important. We could probably accept the raid. We've got all these traps. We'll have this cover. I think we can probably accept the raid right then. We've got a prison ready to hold someone. Yeah. 
we are in oh we're actually not in the forced sleep period oh probably just pass by yeah it's noon okay and i guess i don't have to rush although the sooner we get the marine armor the better i'll feel Spears idle again. Here, I'm going to force everyone just awake. Some of them might get some meals. We'll let that go. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and equip the, accept this quest here. And I want the marine armor. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I want the marine armor. All right. Rika has arrived. Oh, she's landing right on top here. Good. And we'll put everyone restricted in the walled area. Well, yeah, a couple extra guards as well. That's good. Yeah, this is going to be easy. Um, okay, Hope has got Rika reserved. Feels like Hope moves slowly. Is it just me? No, you're fine. All right. Convert action on emulator, please. There we go. And we could do the ritual, but we're not in any real hurry for this. And this is guaranteed not to backfire on us. So we should get raided any time now. Now, darkness doesn't matter for accuracy. It used to way back then. It doesn't. We could still build a roof over here, not to put our characters in darkness, but rather to give them cover from the rain. Although then they might still be unhappy about the darkness part. I mean, we can give them some, light, some lights over here, but that seems a little ridiculous. Actually, let's urgent haul this because I don't want it to get used for cover. Emulators got tainted and periled. That's fine. We don't get involved with that. We're sleeping on the ground. Yeah, so maybe we do need to set up a little bit of a barracks. Oh, the other thing. I don't know if this was always wrong or if it changed. But me and several other people, we're getting used to making bed setups in barracks like this. The idea is they'd share the end table. Except that um, a friend pointed out when we were, we were playing yesterday with the multiplayer mod, actually. Um, and I was doing this trick, I'm like, ah, oh, look how cool this trick is. But we discovered these beds here with the diagonal connection to the end table uh, weren't doing it. So maybe this has never worked. Maybe what I'm doing is getting myself confused with the medical beds where the, vi the vitals scanner over here covers all these beds. Or it might turn out the vitals monitor doesn't cover all these beds either and only the orthogonal ones. But if we want to share this end table, it looks like this is the way to do it, which Actually, isn't so bad right now. We might just go ahead with that, actually. So, sure. Um, do I want to make all this part of the bedroom? Because I I might want to go and, you know, give them something for... Make, make it more beautiful. I might want to floor it. And the question is, do I want to floor all that area? I suppose I could, because other than maybe this becoming a wall, most of this will be part of something later. I don't know about smoothing. Yeah, I guess I will. Let's go... Marble tiles, please. To here, at least. Maybe I do build a wall. And the stone here could just be smooth, too. But, you know, we're, we'll standardize on marble tiles. It looks nice. I think the smooth tile might actually have bigger beauty. The smooth tile have plus two. Like smooth stone. All right, there's our raid. They're going to prepare for a while. That's fine. All people have been told to stay inside the walls. So we can just chillax over here. We don't have any mortars yet. Sorry, you guys slept on the ground. I'm gonna move later over to the right to make it easier to box select people. That is not a mod. You can just right click and drag people around and reorder them over here. That is built in and has been built in apparently for a really long time. Okay, they're beginning their attack. They are imps, which I don't love because they're gonna be breathing fire at us, but Show be it. Actually. Do that and then we'll improve it, some of the positioning a little. Hope I'm going to put you over here. Actually, you could probably take a quite a wide angle here. Uh, Spear's got another long range weapon, so we'll do that. Put you guys properly behind some walls. In there too. And actually, I put Mr. LMG right in the middle. Alright. So a bunch of them are being downed. Oh, they're already fleeing. And they're gonna smash this door open. 
Like, just turn around and walk the other way. Oh, oh my god, Odette. Uh, wrong person, but... No, no, do I not have an indoors assigned? I don't. There we go. Um, I don't know if there's a good way to engage these guys. I get some people some good short-range weapons. Go in there and engage. Well, by the time they got there, the door is smashed, but so be it. We can make this door out of stone to make them take longer to do that, but I don't think there's much of a reason for it. No wigglers, huh? No. There we go. Unrecruit. So let's unrestrict everyone other than Odette, who we will keep in the walled area. And unrestrict everything. Okay. Spears idle again. There's no blocks for you to be. Oh, uh, this needs to be copy and link. There we are. Just in case that was causing the conflict. Oh, Timberwolf is hunting Javi. That's not where where are you, buddy? Over there. Can you get there in time? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna recruit more people. Just get them to come out here. Oh, it, it's aggro. That's interesting. Sometimes the animals aren't flagged as hostile, so your people don't start shooting them. I've noticed. Maybe I'm running a mod that fixes that. Alright. Some meat. We saved Javi. That's good. Yeah, I think all we have to do now is wait for the shuttle to come pick up Rika and her two bodyguards. Her? Her. Right size lamp, please, so you don't have to work in the dark. There we go. He's not better. And yeah, we'll just have this ready to go for other overflow. Um, if we notice any of our colonists sleeping there, which is probably going to happen once Emulator joins us, I think. Okay, now we're getting a real raid. They're going to avoid turret fields and notice some of your traps. They're not explicitly sappers, so they might still come through here. I think they are. Hell, there's a wide open door for them. I have to remember to leave my little side tunnel for my EMP shenanigans. Okay, these guys should get smashed pretty well. Oh, they're fleeing. Well, one group is fleeing. Group two is almost certainly about to start. Oh, someone's actually downed. They're using this for cover, which is annoying. <laughs> um, why don't you come over here and give us a little flank there, buddy? With your light machine gun. 12 shooting? Come on. Come on. There we go. There's the flea. All right, do you recruit you? You can take a few more pot shots here. Um, do we want to capture... Who is it? Nope. You. Dead in six hours. Staggering the chemical fascination. You can mine! You can cook as a busy work. Okay, I think we're going to capture Fosrath. Wait. Oh, that, that might be their last name. Fosrath Reich, yeah. Capture Reich. Oh, we got another shot. As I say, the accuracy on that gun is terrible. I guess when, maybe when you fire enough bullets, you don't need the accuracy. Die, die, die. Hey, good. You listened. All right. Raid over. Everything unforbidden. We can... Okay, everyone's still unrestricted. That's fine. We're doing some cleaning over here, which I guess is okay. Well, let's home zone this stuff so it getting, gets repaired and maintained and whatnot. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Yeah, lots of burninating to do. A little bit of treatment. Spear, how are you doing here? You okay, Smogger? Yeah, you guys are both fine. No problems. So, Reich. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh, you're not on your cooldown. Nope. Or you're on cooldown, I suppose. Mortar tech researched. We do have a couple of barrels. Um, stockpile is over here. I don't know, this seems like a decent area maybe to put our mortars, doesn't it? And someone shoots back and then hits our hospital? Takes 
a lot of components, but I think it's worth starting to prep. There and there, we'll want to put our little mortar storage there, which I guess we don't have that right now either. Maybe I'll just leave it here as a plan. Wait, we're being raided immediately? Randall! My dude! And you know what? We still have these other people here to help us. It's unfortunate we don't have the help. Um, were they attacking immediately? I think so. Yeah. Well, back we go. So two of them are still going to use this for cover, but there's not enough room for everyone. Um, oh my god, bisons. Oh, they might be going for the uh, imps, actually, I hadn't realized. And it did even, it even soaked a, a fire blast. And that's a little annoying. It runs down, and they're fleeing good. We've still got our rain. We get this defensive foggy rain that has existed the entire game, basically. And I think it's great. I think it's wonderful. Uh, I don't, s oh, there is a wiggler. Can't dumb labor, you're a recluse. You are quite smart. Fewer people in the faction. Yeah, that's not going to be the case. Um, let's just pick your stuff and leave you to bleed death. Okay. Done and done. Okay, Randy, can you give us a little bit of a break? I mean, admittedly, these have been pretty easy raids, so I guess I can't complain about the difficulty aspect. We can send them home in good position. I don't know. Uh, carry Rika to the shuttle. And yeah, maybe I'll just order these guys. Wait, not allowed. Do you not shuttle away? You just leave? Oh, they can die. So yeah, I don't think they have to be shuttled. I think I just send this, fingers crossed, and we're okay. And they'll probably leave then. There's a marine armor. I kind of want to get the hope. Because, you know, main character-itis. Pick off the cape, but I think you'll put the cape back on. Although, it'll probably have to wait. Until it's back inside, but I'll just force it. Oh no! Oh, it is outerwear. Mmm. Okay, so what we need to do, because you're gonna have a bad thought, we're gonna have to get you prestige armor, don't we? Oh, you want neural superchargers? Failed to convert. Yeah, you want converter apparel. Okay, so change of plans. Um, drop the marine armor, and unforbid that, and then maybe we give it to our best fighter. Could be Gomp. Oh, actually, don't you have a... You have high accuracy. Don't you have a manipulation issue because of the Pigman thing? Apparently that's not really interfering with your sh your hunting that much. I don't know. The Fawns, although he's got the arm. Um, we could give it to whoever's got the most kills, which is Hope. What about Mathis here? Mathis, you've got shooting passion. You're a baseliner. All right, I'm going to give you the marine armor. I'm gonna wear that instead of the duster, but I think that's okay. And assignment, we're just gonna clear the force. So otherwise, math is gonna move or whatever, but probably will keep the marine armor on. I suspect someone would have equipped it just on its high defense trait. Oh, have you not put this cape back on yet? No, you haven't actually. Let me, I'm gonna wake you up. Just tell you to go and wear this, please. Thank you. And then I'll clear the force. You should just still be automating things. And lots of park. We are going to need some storage in here. So let's start building some shelves. Uh, furniture. That should be a decent start. And we're tripling the density of all those squares. Uh, wait, are you researching there? Why aren't you researching the other place? Maybe because you don't have to, but it's not going to be as fast. Oh, sorry to wake you up, but come over here and uh, deconstruct these things. There you go. Definitely work in this room, please. Oh, it's high time that we decorate our temple. We haven't really needed to rely on it for rituals to invite people, which is nice. It feels like I should probably do this in the Tekka style. It's gonna take a ton of steel. Maybe we do a little of it. And the rest of it for now, just marble tile, which is still beautiful. Um, hang on, I was gonna say, I don't think it actually took my click. There we are. I was pretty sure that was still the steel icon. This should still give Tekka surroundings, I think. Hopefully enough. 
I mean, the other furniture might also work once we get that in there. Um, oh yeah, I hadn't done the kneeling pillows yet because I was waiting for some cloth, which we now have. I'm gonna put 12 in here, which is more than we need for the moment, I think. No, no 12 exactly. Okay. Oh, did I cancel one? No, not the floor. Or I didn't click completely. We still might want a few spares, but this will be okay for now. I don't think anyone literally needs to sit on them. There needs to be a certain number for the rituals, but... Let's space them out. What? Actually, I'm not... maybe I'll do that. There. And I kind of like them here. I think I'm going to do this. Just If nothing else, it's a little different from how I normally do things, and that's a good thing. So yeah, we'll pretty up that room, which will generate more block-making jobs to maybe keep some of our crafter busy. Maintenance is still important. Uh, oh, one of the things we're going to want to do... Yeah, let's go geothermal first, but then we're going to want to get the thing... Maybe the multi-analyzer, but... Um, hardened components. And then maybe multi-analyzer. And then we might go to fabrication. Hardened components so we don't have to do as much maintenance. We're starting to get a lot of electronic electrical devices, so we're spending more and more time having to maintain them now because of the... The Fluffy's Breakdown mod, which is excellent. I think the shell's default behavior is going to be fine here. Oh, I guess, hold on. By default, these guys will accept stuff that I might be fine with just storing outside. We could move the valuables in so they don't get stolen. You know what? Screw it. We'll leave these on. You can always turn it off later. Oh, I guess, hold on. What I can do is I can just make sure that this is, a, is set to critical. So, like, raw resources will get stored out here preferentially. Yeah, or maybe even just important. Because important, the shells get preferred, so important will exceed that. And then we could still do something critical somewhere if we needed um, specific storage for some reason. Okay, yeah, I like that. A let, what did we make legendary? Legendary cloth kneel pillow. Well, all right, I guess it's fine. Masterwork, okay. I was hoping it was going to be like a legendary weapon or armor. Not that we're really making them right now. But boy, that would have been swell. Xenogenetics. Good, because I want that. I want to do some xenogenetic stuff. We may have to buy stuff. We may have to... Well, probably have to buy stuff, because extracting things out of, like, the random critters around um, is unlikely to generate the really powerful stuff that I want to abuse on this particular run. Yeah. But the research should be going much faster now. Yeah, I'll be happy about the geothermal power for some stability. At this point in the game, one generator is going to generate, like, so much for it, it's going to be ridiculous. I think they do, like, what, 3200, which is basically our entire array here at the, in the day and full wind. I might be wrong. Maybe I'm remembering how much research it costs. I don't know. I am thinking about how much research it takes, 3200. Although, is it the same? I feel like that number still sounds right. I'm, pro I'm probably just on the yayo. All right, yeah, some more shelves being done. Odette doing the hauling, clearing up a bunch of space. We'll do some more shelves soon too, but already our, our space situation has improved a lot. Masterwork, kneeling pillow. I mean, it's still nice. We do want a beautiful temple. I never set up. Let me put another lamp in here. Oh, we are out of steel. So we do have to get mining going. That's why we're hiring you, right? I mean, eventually. So I should probably still have to do some mining now. I don't know, maybe we can live without some steel for the moment. I know we can't build the lamp, the lamp apparently, but that's okay. I could also set up smelting. Although I might want to wait until we get the geothermal set up for that, because the smelter takes a ton of power. I could also be toggling off the uh, cremator, but... Okay, next thing in the queue... Right, geothermal power, that's fine. So... Where was that? Okay, and if I do this, and if I go, yeah, select similar things on the map, we see the selections here, here. Probably our best bets. There, there was one in the far north, and there was one on the west, wasn't there? Wait. Oh, there's three in the south. Okay. Might go for this one. How's, is the terrain affordance over there okay? Um. 
Yeah, okay. It looks like it might have been muddy, but it must be some rich soil. Maybe what I'll do, as I say, I'll wall it off, but I can't quite remember the size of the, the thermal generator. So now we'll wait. Not like we don't already have some construction jobs to keep people busy. Research and theory is happening quickly. Oh, I don't, I'm betting this hasn't been home zone. That's probably why. Yeah. Not being cleaned, I just noticed. Oh, and this too. Let's do that. Oh, nor the hospital. That's real problematic for not being cleaned. Okay. Masterwork, another pillow. Okay, although that's the last pillow. There's the floor. Oh yeah, we're using a bunch of steel for the floor. That's why we need some steel. Although, letting them finish this is actually kind of okay. This has been sealed in, so we can actually mine out the rest of this. All right. Oh, there's a lot of it. But we might put it to use again with crap miners. Hmm. Now, nah, let's go ahead. Let's mine that out. Because we need... Is what, 12 per? Yeah, we need quite a lot of steel. All right. I'm actually wondering if with Reich here... If they might be a great candidate for, um, what's it called? Is it power drill? The arm upgrade that boosts your mining skill? We've had someone before it with those upgrades and they just would cut through rock like butter. And it does apply to using the little mining stations, if I recall correctly. That all sounds pretty good. Oh, um, I just realized this block storage. Why is that too important? Okay, good. Let's say some blocks are being stored outside, but this is the same priority as that one, and this one is closer, so blocks should get put here first, and just when it fills up, it'll go outside. But because they also match, we're not going to bother bringing these blocks back indoors, because they don't need to be done. Yeah, that's nice. This is just here, not because it can't be outside, because it totally can be, but just so that the people who are working on the block making here, um, we can just drop the blocks immediately on the shelf without having to haul them around all over the place. We can even put a shelf out here for some block, or some, some like, rock chunks but I don't know if that's quite as important yeah that's all neutral but yeah people are starting to demand the neural supercharge which definitely eats a lot of power and definitely eats a lot of material are they all demanding it yeah well, hopefully we can just counter that right now with just high moods in other ways. They started doing it when you reach a certain wealth threshold. It might be around 85, actually. Maybe that's what these lines are for? No. No, these are just arbitrary. Yeah, these are just breaking this up into 20% chunks. That went down. I wonder what happened right over there. What we could use is probably a merchant to offload a bunch of stuff, buy certain things that we'd want, and especially looking for genetic stuff. Um, we haven't gotten a single spaceship yet is too bad because that would be excellent i don't know if um if we're playing a cassandra classic or anything like that i don't think they've got rules for um i'm gonna finish converting you i don't think they've got rules for like guaranteed time like trade caravans every x often i think it's just in a pool of events that can happen so i don't think we're more or less likely to get it with cassandra versus randy or anything like that i might be wrong but i don't think so Do we have a timer for your Abasia? Oh, we do. Now, and Glitter World Medicine, which we don't have, and I don't think we'd use it anyway. There's, I think there's always a random chance they just get over their Abasia. Got a Peril is just Immolator, which is fine. Spears idled, because again, I guess there's no blocks we made. Maybe I could have made the Tekus thing a little smaller, but and yeah, we have to get more artificial enhancements for people. I wonder if I have to grow more heal root than this. And we'll keep an eye on it. But I'm not sure. Also, I'll just put a haul command on some of these chunks here. Start getting that sorted out. Uh, looks like we're gonna need more sleep spots too. Can't click and drag, right? No. Nope. Power brownouts. I'm not gonna worry about it though. We're gonna we're just gonna wait until the geothermal is done and then we'll deal with it. Maybe I'll turn off the cremator for now if the yeah, corpse has been dealt with. So I'll just power that off. It's what, 500? 250. Yeah, it's, I think it used to be more. I think it may have been like 750 for a while or something ridiculous like that. I just realized this is off because we didn't have a prisoner for a while. So we've been having to feed people manually. Also, I guess it's cold in there, huh? 
Yeah, let's let's fix you up. There we go. Power's positive. A psychic ship. You know, I remember back in the day when this was like one of the things you would have all the time because there were just weren't as many events and things. We probably want to deal with this kind of sort of right away. Let's go. Don't we have an EMP grenade? Yeah, right over there. Um, who's bad at shooting? Okay. Floor somewhere around five. Why wine? Because you kind of have a crap gun. Let's get you to equip this. Just, grenades don't need much in the way of accuracy, so it seems like a pretty good candidate. Scorcher over there. Luckily, it's raining. That might be helpful. So we're going to want to spread out a decent amount. What, you instantly scorch? Oh, we shot you before the EMP went off. That's a bit annoying. Good, 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 good. Make sure to specifically target this now. Could have gone a little cleaner if I'd waited for the grenade to actually go off before starting to shoot. But that's pretty good. And let you chillax, because you're not going to be helpful for you like this. I guess we might want to smelt her and just be able to shred these mechanoids. This is a very clean destruction of a psychic ship. Okay. Allow everything. We might want to high priority haul the components, because them rotting would be kind of annoying. All right. Bring that in. Yeah, I'm gonna want to clean more of this up, but just wait. Beating on on Allison right now. How's your age now? Okay, nearing two years, because again, 60 days is a year. Do we have an auto butcher set up? Two roosters. Let's keep eight female hens. Um, the dromedaries, I mean, we might want a lot for pack animals, but there's still probably a limit to how many we want. Let's say two and up to six adult females, although that won't butcher the pregnant ones. At some point, we might have to enable this and tweak the numbers. This is only counting non-pregnant females. Uh, the goats, I don't think we care to keep the goats. I think I will slaughter the adults, adult goats right away. Ibexes. Ibexes is interesting because they are very food efficient. Although we might just keep dromedaries around as a utility thing, and so we might not care about the Ibexes. Right now we don't have a breeding pair anyway. I don't know. I'll keep the one around. As you know, an emergency meal. Meal on wheels, I was going to say, but meals on legs. It looks like we need the power conduit to extend. At least maybe there. Actually, even that's a little closer than needed, but that's okay. Go go research. Oh, a quest for a volcanic winter. In the winter. I mean, it's certainly going to kill our plants. 13 days. Uh, I'm not even really impressed by these rewards, actually. Shock lands can do fun things. Uranium can be useful for stuff. No, I don't think that's worth a 13 day volcanic winter. Easy to turn down. Well, since I already got something that got me talking, let's talk a little bit about what's happened over here. Currently, we're getting some power brownouts, which is more than a little annoying. We do have some extra heaters going on in the bedrooms because some people were complaining about having been sleeping in the cold. We've done a couple of religious rituals. Uh, we had an ineffective conversion against Reich. We had uh, some fun party. Uh, there we go. Unforgettable Sky Lantern Festival. However, didn't recruit anyone, unfortunately. I think I had a, a dance festival as well to give a, get a mood boost, although I don't think... Or, sorry, a relationship boost with a faction. Although, again, I don't think that one went off. We do have one more outdoor ritual we can do. I didn't realize I'd set up so many of them to be outdoors. Um, oh, we can start the dance party at light bulb, actually. Light bulb, which we'll want to do. But right now we have the mood boost, so there's no real reason to start that quite yet. I can't move these, huh? Just too bad, because they're a little awkwardly placed, but that's fine. I should probably plan on setting up a light bulb. Maybe right there. And then we'll. I think we want some speakers as well. Yeah, my field. So this is going to turn down... Electrical devices for 4.8 days. That's a long time. So we don't have to go and defeat anything. We just have to leave live without electricity for 4.8 days. All our meat's gonna rot. 
Though that might not be the end of the world. You know, um... Let me copy these settings. Paste the settings here. Maybe... Uh, we only have 1.4 days. I was going to say, oh, we can... Yeah, because we won't even be able to make nutrient paste meals. No, I think for who we are... We're going to say no. That Five days for that electricity is pretty brutal. I don't think I want to accept that. All right, well, with the edits, I actually don't know how long this episode will be, but I've been recording for an hour and 10 minutes, so probably more than long enough, I suspect. So we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Things have definitely moved in a good direction, other than, I mean, our wealth has gone up. Well, actually, it's been surprisingly flatlined for a little bit here. Um, wealth went up on maybe on some of these enemy raids, unless one of them was one we accepted for something and got a reward, or we just got a lot of crap out of the raids. That's entirely possible, but... All right, yes, power. We got our own power problems as is. We are nearly done the geothermal research though, and that is gonna open up a lot. Although we are gonna need steel and components and things to build that. Not to mention those mortars. I guess I should probably go and my, oh, do I have any? I think all the spaceships have been torn down. I think I did that. I really wanna get the uh, mech stuff started. Kind of waiting until maybe, do we wait until fabrication? No, we'll probably go before that. I will go and mine out all these components though here. I think that's okay. And then I'm gonna suspend this. We're gonna wanna save the components. Some of them will use, be used for the mortars, which is probably okay. Although, yeah, we're gonna have to start doing chem fuel, this or that. Maybe I'll just put a forbid on these mortars. We're gonna keep the components around. We gotta shred you. But yeah, just for the geothermal. I don't remember how many components we need, but we'll have maybe too many. It's okay, I'll mine out all these. It's okay, then we'll have some options. Folks, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.